let's see the quick demo so let me maximize this and if you see this is my third person controller as free asset which has previously you know uh, that uh, that robot uh, character right so that i just replaced my own character so that we have to show over here like how actually it is working so it is perfectly working it just you know same animations apply with this my own controller own character in this third person asset controller and even if i move anything even i jump we can just anything right so as like previously whatever robot is does so any character you can just apply it over here even if i just try to yeah just running to here and then if i just go back and then if i just see yeah and climb it here go here and see here i can just view everything over there so yeah that is perfectly working right so that we have to Im implement in this session like using that third person controller uh, in this view how you can add your own character right so like that and this character should work as like previously that whatever armature is working in this robot right so that we will build so let's go to the implementation so before implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit my channel so this is dotnet real world example and here last time i just built this you know third person uh, controller uh, which is free asset we are using in my games and previously this key this is default uh, default character over there as a like robot right so in this case we can in this in this session we will uh, we will replace this to our own any own character right so yeah especially recommend this and also if you first time you know if you're new so definitely you can check out how to install this you know unity and then starting those games and all how actually there's a many other session also over there okay so first of all what you need to do i'll take same example which i just did last time open the unity hub uh here my unity hub and last time actually i just create this one so if you record you can get it this one from my uh from my uh, github link right and i just open this and once you open now see this is the default uh third person uh third person controller asset along with this third person okay so if i run this so let me maximize that with the maximize so see it is the same things but only difference this they provide actually this new uh this uh existing uh, character right which is look like as a robot right so that we have to change it over here so yeah let me start that so for that let me stop so here the default uh default game uh, default assets and default character over here in this scene you can see over here and i already explained everything in last time over here so what you need to do so basically see as of now see this is that armature mesh right so this is the main thing actually we have to add over here this armature mesh we have to replace this armature mesh to your own character right so where did, did you get that character there's a two way either actually you can just uh, prepare your own character using that pro builder or something else but yeah i'll take it as a maximo so this is that official website mixamo and if you first time came this you know mixamo uh, site definitely you have to logged in so i just logged in uh, with my with my credentials so also you can just logged in or if you are not logged in first time so definitely you have to create that uh, Thing. so i already created so you can just using your google accounts to log in this so yeah i am using this one so once you uh, logged in this uh, site maximo you will able to see this is a two two section over here one is that character one is the animation actually this website provide that character along with their animation so if you choose that character and there is a couple of characters over there right so which one you want you can just choose it over here right so for example i can choose that one so i choose this one and see it is saying use this character so once you select this one it will load it over here for that preview how it should look like this character so see here is loaded and you can just overview on this character how look like right so if you like okay this character is a suit for your game simply you can just download this button and here this format what kind of format actually you required so here if it actually we required f b x format okay so i'll choose this f b x format and what kind of pose actually if you want to t pose so see this is basically as a t pose 
right so yeah that is also fine whatever pose you want if you want to original so that is also fine if you want to t pose so also fine so let me download this so once you download uh i just download over here right see i just download this character over here now go back to your uh, project over here and uh, we have to simply uh, that character whatever we have just created right so we have to keep it somewhere okay so for that what i'll do i'll just create my uh, i'll just create a one folder over here let me create that for example uh my character something like that right and yeah this is my character and go to that inside it is nothing and simply you have to drag and drop your fbx fbx file over here in this folder okay that's it so now you can just minimize okay so now this see you have this character over there okay and uh, if you just drag and drop your character over here you are able to see in this scene view also okay so what i can do uh, i have to just drag and drop in this geometry section okay so in this case what i can do i let me just uncheck this so that i don't want to use this one i want to use my one so yeah just this is something you have to understand like see every this player armature is already actually made for us right this that uh, free asset so what uh, actually we have to change we have to change that character so for that we have to change that armature mesh only right so this mesh will be replaced in my character so for that uh, we have to keep it our character it's inside this over here so this is actually prefab so what i can do first first i have to just unpack this prefab so let me unpack this completely over here right so this player armature it just completely are uh, you know un un unpack and second thing also we could do simply i can uncheck this one okay so that that armature whatever just currently use or you can just delete as well okay so for that confusing part so let me just delete so that no thing nothing is over there okay so now this geometry is empty and in the geometry what i can do simply i can drag and drop in the geometry okay so if you just drag and drop now see you're able to see it is there my character is there but very small right it's so in here once you select this character you can just made it, you can change it to name as well but i'll just keep it same and here you can just change to scale like what kind of you want so see it is just you know uh, 10 and uh, 10 sorry it is 10 okay now see whatever height and width you want so you can just keep it over here and also things okay so you can just keep it your uh, scale over here in character and once you double click on that you're able to see you are this character is over there right this is one thing second thing also we have to do see once you add this it is perfectly working fine except that animation okay let me show you in the dump, uh, in the running this application so let me run this application it is over there even if i just moving this here see even i just maximize this correct right but see except this uh, animations right it is just working as like he can jump even he can run run everything and also jump right go back everything is actually working because it is just like as a character without animation okay so what i can do we have to apply that animation same animation so what we have that okay so how we can do that simply stop that go back to that your uh, your uh, character over here so once you select this character you will be able to see in the inspector section couple of options is over here right so don't confuse over here what you can do first okay one more thing actually see as i have just drag and drop it is applying perfectly there's a whatever that character look like right but sometime can be it is not look like same so what you can do go to that you know uh, this material section you have to extract this okay this texture and your your uh, texture on the uh, texture and materials okay so how we can do that simply extract that and you can just whatever that character your uh, character folder inside that you can just create your folder for example textures right 
and inside this texture you can just extract your texture that's it okay see now automatically create the texture whatever the texture it just got created and similar go back to here okay and also we have to ex extract the material okay because might be i did two three times previously so that's why it is uh once i drag and drop it is completely look like as a character but yeah definitely if you do first time you will miss that character as as the same look and feel okay so you have to require extract those texture and material so similar just uh, create another folder which can be material right materials and select this extract that and okay now we are good okay so this two material and texture it is corresponding character i just created that is fine once you did so definitely you will see this character is uh, look like as a may as like bit download right similar we can see over there okay so this part is done now again just click over here now see now come come to that point of that uh, animation right so right now it's no animations over there okay so why it's no animation over there because see everything is working if you click on this player arm miniature so pre previously we have used this arm miniature arm armature avatar right so every character has their own avatar okay so those avatar we have to, avatar actually we have to create it right so previously whatever we have to create this one so see if i double click and you just cancel this see previously we we have this you know previously whatever that in robot we have used right so that robot has this uh, avatar so those avatar actually we have to create it for this particular uh, character also so how we can do that unity also provide this feature and uh, yeah if i go to this okay and in this section choose this one so see first time you will see this generic and also material should already extract see this is that extracted already so that's why it's over there and uh, in this rig section you can just choose hemonide and uh, here the, i just choose this one and simply i can apply this model okay so once you apply now see just newly avatar got created over here right so this avatar this avatar actually we have to place where see this is that previously avatar and if you just either you can just drag and drop that is perfectly fine or there's an option look let's click so you will see that avatar is over there right so as of now i just did two times that's why i think it's just creating two times so what you can do simply uh for that confusing part right so you can just simply drag and drop over here that's it okay and once you're done that's all okay and just run this application and see that animation should work as expected okay cool now see there's a t pose has finished even if i just maximize even see yes now it's animation also is working even is walking so it's look like it's she's walking even if i running so see she's running as well and if i want to jump this guy yeah it is jumping jumping perfect right so yeah it that means our animations or you know whatever newly character we just added it is work, working perfectly yeah so yeah like this way you can just uh, create your own character right and you can just use your character in anywhere in your any games right so yeah that's cool so that's all for this session but yeah in upcoming session definitely we we would uh, show you how actually now we we have no right how we can use that existing character and with the animations right so this is that scenes which we have used in our uh, also it is provide this you know uh, that free asset third person controller has that scene right so those scene how we can change change that scene in our scene and how i can apply this character on that scene and how can change that character so those things we will do in upcoming session so until now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share